Let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our heart, the stewardship of our hands be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Hey, everybody, it's Charles, Hype Central. Thanks for stopping by. Um, the last time I came in front of this camera, we were out in, what was the name of it? Spring Lake. Spring Lake, um, Spring Lake Missouri, out in Potosi. Um, and you'll hear more about that later, or you'll see some pictures online. Uh, but I'm going to jump right in. One of the things I want to declare in laying in a, a foundation is this. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof, and they'll be glad. It goes on to say, um, O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. We're talking the most high. Ashe. Moving on. I've got the words written down on my first page. Christ consciousness. Um, those of you know that know a little bit about Hype Central. We come from a Christian background. And all that means is to be Christ-like. Uh, one of the scriptures read, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, just as a foundation of moving forward. So that's who we are with a mind focused on how things were um, presented um, by some know Jesus, uh, the ascended master or Jesus, Christ, so on and so forth. But um, you remember back in the day, the people used to have the things on their wrists. Uh, what would Jesus do? <laughs> Remember that? I'm going to jump right in. The subject I have is housekeeping on the first page. The lesson is white knuckles, and we're going to go full steam ahead. But housekeeping. And when I wrote the word down, I was like, are you sure? Because that's a word that another type of person would use, but that's the word I'm using now, house housekeeping. Under the letter A, I have these words. If God be for us, then who can be against us? Under God, I have two lines underlying it to emphasize it. And then I have the word most high. And then I've got a she and a man moving forward. B, I have say to yourself, I'm not ordinary. Um, I'm extraordinary or extraordinary. Those looking for another um, line to affirm, I just gave you one. You're not ordin ordinary. You're extraordinary or extraordinary. But you've got to believe it. Letter C, I have these words. When dealing with controlling factions, 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 small, over, uh, organized, dissenting, groups um, full of conflict or entities, caution should be the watchword of the day. And then I move quickly right into a dream that I had on the other night, um, I think just yesterday in the wee hours of the morning. And in the dream, short and sweet, I was being introduced to a figure. It was a man who it was, don't know. Don't know all the details, but I knew the figure was divine. And I got the impression that he had already been checked at the door. And I'll tell you more about that later if I um, don't forget. So as I was greeting this uh, person of divinity, I was like, yes, we've been introduced. He said, no, let's be formally introduced. And he like, we like cupped hands with each other. And I step back for a moment because I'm cognizant. I like to be aware of what's going on, even in the dream. And in the dream, I said, I want to look in his eyes. As I began to look in his eyes, he noted something behind me. And he leapt up just like a leopard. I'm pointing at the camera. I'd say it's probably about seven, seven feet away from me right now. So 
that person of divinity was sitting right there. I mean, he stood up and we greeted hands, but he, he noticed something behind me and he leapt up and he went forward. And I was like, what, you know, my, can I just be myself? What the heck? So I, I turned around and the only thing that I caught was whatever was trying to steal away went into to a concave of the wall and the only thing that hung down was the tail. And I woke up out of the dream. I wrote down. As the introductions were being made. He leapt across the room addressing something he saw creeping across the wall near the ceiling. I only caught the tail end of what it was literally a tail left hanging as he grabbed for whatever the entity was. How many know that we're encamped round about? How many know that the angels of the Lord are on standby for those that are the called according to his purpose? Um, he could have very, very well been uh, a guide of mine and a sign angel of mine. And he saw what I didn't see often, often, often throughout the week. One of the things I say is during the times that I just can't see, keep what's near that's best for me. And that's wherever my feet are traveling. So uh, maybe more will come of that later. I'm jumping to E. Instead of telling, announcing you D, it just lined up. I have the word dream, so that's why I didn't say D after C, so the next line was dream. And then I go to E, and under E I have, we are not ordinary, and it doth not appear what we shall be, but when, and then I have dot, 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 because those that follow scriptorial text, the Bible, y'all, <laughs> in First John third chapter and the second verse it'll tell you more about where I'm going with that but when that time comes it says then we will know even as we are now known and then I have the word again I say I know I have a witness in the room but I paid for my chimes I'm gonna use my chimes oh so anyway and the other word I have is amen moving a little bit further the same morning, I had a secondary dream, and it was short and sweet. And, and to convey it simply, there were three behind me. And no matter what they did, they were mocking me. Whatever I did, they were mocking me. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I turned to look to see who they were, and the faces looked very familiar. I'll just say, could very well have been family. I'm saying it that way on purpose. And I'll end it with this. This is under F. I've got female. Just coincidentally, female. There were three, at least three females, and they were behind me mocking me. It seemed like no matter what I did, I was being mocked by words, sarcasm. I can't specifically tell you what they said. But they were words of mockery and sarcasm. So I'll just say this in closing as I turn the page. What's up, cuz? All right, moving on. Ha! Again, the title of this page is Housekeeping. If you need to step away and get a drink, go ahead and get a drink. Go ahead and get a drink. I have G. Under G, I have Gangster. I've got gang stalker and these words, finally, brethren, let's not give Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the antagonist of the brethren, so much air and playtime on our platforms. Housekeeping. That spot platforms. <laughs> That shot spot should be hollowed ground and allotted to whom 
and for whom we have to do. Let me explain. There was a movie back in the day called Coach Carter. And one of the scenes in the movie, because he was a he was trying to be a model for the team that he was cultivating, creating, trying to make them better men and women. And one of the things he did to make them see themselves, he looked down at his shoe. <laughs> he said, you see that shoe? He said, I tied them shoes. Ha! I tied them shoes. I don't know if you ever saw that film, but that's one of the things he said. And under the title of housekeeping, the reason why I say we're giving Satan, Lucifer, the antagonist of our soul, antagonist I have, a person who actively opposes or is hostile to someone, an adversary for you, possibly the light worker, an antagonist. And sometimes when we're uh, presenting the lesson of the day or laying our cards out and and we come across that particular card, the images are different because the card decks are different, um, but we know that particular card to symbolize the devil. And sometimes we lay into it so much and so long that I don't know how many of you have pets and you ever take the time to stroke your pet in appreciation, you're, you're, you're cuddling him, coddling him, rubbing them down, they lay back, they get all into it, head up in the air, foot go up in the air, and all kind of things be going on with your pet. Yeah, I'm saying a dog, for example, particularly, because I don't have a cat. They get all into it. But what I'm getting at is this, under the title of housekeeping, sometimes when we're conveying some of the machinations of Satan, the devil, Lucifer, Sometimes we lay into it. We get in there and we, we talk about how ugly he is and how low down he is and how dirty he is and how wrong he is and, and all of that. But can I tell y'all something? Because the antagonist of our souls is just doing his job, every time you give him that airtime, that playtime on your platform, He's sitting up saying, yep, I did that. I tied them shoes. I sure did. I did that. Yes, I did that to them. Yes, I did that to her. Yes, I did that in that instance. We giving them too much. I, I remember, and I don't want to get in a habit of, of naming sites and things, but I remember particularly because it was early on when I was taking a look um, through the, the, the World Wide Web, and I was um, investigating, viewing, observing different readers and things. And I remember one reader in particular, um, I think it was Virgo Nation, I think. Don't quote me on it. But I remember anytime she did her spreads and she would come along, it's a she, yes, she would come along that particular card that represented Satan the devil, she'd take that card and she'd say, yeah, you know who, I'm not, I'm not naming the name. I get it. I understand. Let me move on a little bit further. This is all under housekeeping. All under housekeeping. Like, how dare you? I'm just giving you what I got. This is Hype Central. Moving on. That spot should be hollowed ground and allotted to whom and for whom we have to do. And what I meant by that was the most high, God, the universe, source, the divine, and so on and so forth. Because that's, that's whose watch we're under. That's who we're working for. Huh? Let me move on. I go on to say the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. So our focus should be on, on, yes, that antagonist is there, but this. Yes, the antagonist is there, but we want to be here. Yes, the antagonist is there. We don't have to get into all he's doing. Um, 
at a minimum, what it should bring focus to is somebody is on their job. I, I'm, I'll talk about me later. I'll be off soon, and y'all can, you know, cast whatever you want to cast. Let me talk to my my chimes. I say, amen. Here we go. Moving on, moving on. We're down to H. Under H, I have the word help or helper. Help, help, help her. Intuition, sentience. Let me explain. We need, you need, I need someone who can read the room, who can read the room, who can read the room, a moderator. Remember I said, if I recall it, I mentioned it. In that dream, when that divine figure stood up, I was like, I know you, you know, hello, hi, whatever the words was, it was an affirmation. Because I don't know about you in most dreams, if my mouth is moving or whatever words are being conveyed, they're being conveyed along the lines of te telepathy. My mouth isn't actually moving. You know, the communications are had, had, you know, in a spiritual sense. I'll say it that way. So during the dream, like I said, I was aware during the dream. Isn't that something? I, I thought about that one time, just maybe a couple of months ago. I was like, I wonder if, because um, I read somewhere where um, uh, there will come a time that during your dreams, you'll be able to kind of navigate what's going on. And I kind of, you know, you know, thought about it. I don't know if literally you'll be able to navigate what's going on. But 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 I'm thankful that I was able to have foresight during the dream. Like I said, I I had the thought to let me look in his eyes. I hope y'all can hear. I want to grab the microphone and walk around like I did in Spring Lake. But yep. we're sitting down right now. And, you know, maybe before it's all said and done, I will. But as I looked at him, you know, I told you he leaped toward the wall, the tail and all of that. But as he was saying, he says, yes, we've been, uh, but let's be formally introduced. In my mind, this lady right here, talking about somebody that can read a room, she ain't going to tell you. And she probably don't know that she has this gift. But I believe that she can read the room. When someone comes in, you, you know, there's certain energies that can be seen almost, but at a minimum felt. There's a sentience about us. You get certain feelings and, you know, knowings, you know, something is off. But as I was greeting that, that person of divinity, and allow me to say it that way because that's the way I felt during the dream, I felt that he had already been checked at the door. So I was like, yeah, we met already. But he says, no, let's be formally introduced. Okay, but I'm saying today under the category of housekeeping that I believe that we ought to have someone. I know ourselves. I know, I know, I know, I know. But some of us, we got platforms. And some of us, we do have monitors, moderators. But we want to make sure those moderators can read the room. It's one thing to, to, to clear the air, to clear, to clear the energy. I get it. Some of us have the Holy Spirit on the inside to, to move and navigate us. But those of us that are in service, more times than not, you're not alone. So you're going to need someone that's able to read the room. Ask source to direct you who would be best for that. Moving on. You need someone who can read the room. A moderator, for example. If our CPU driven cars, because really they just roll in computers. If our CPU driven cars do diagnostic scans before engaging, before coming on. You know, you so, <laughs> some of y'all got fancy cars. You press the button. On. <laughs> Nowadays, you probably talk to the car. Start up. <laughs> but more times than not, these new cars, 